Apple announced some major updates today in a two-hour keynote at the Worldwide Developers Conference. Here's a quick recap. I'm Nathan Seichert and this is 90 Seconds on the Verge. The next OS X has a name and it's Yosemite. Coming out this fall is a free upgrade. As expected, the design language is more in line with the new iOS with flatter icons and sharper corners. The OS X and iOS integration is also deeper than ever. Handoff syncs your work across devices while AirDrop now works across OS X and iOS. There's also iCloud Drive, an online file storage system similar to Dropbox. One of the biggest surprises coming is the integration of SMS and even even phone calls in OS 10. Hey, uh, doctor, you're, you're on speakerphone with, via my Mac. So now let's talk iOS 8. The visuals remain the same, but functionally. With interactive notifications, you can now reply to messages without switching apps. Quick type is Apple's new keyboard, but if you don't like it, iOS finally allows for third-party keyboards like Swipe. Then there's the aptly named HealthKit and HomeKit. Apple has a lot of partners here for both. We imagine it'll get more interesting later this year. For developers, Apple is now letting apps talk to one another. Imagine applying Visco filters right into the new photo app, or letting Bing translate a website in Safari. But the biggest announcement is probably the least consumer friendly. Swift is Apple's brand new programming language, and it's a lot faster than Objective-C. While many may not understand the full extent of that announcement, it was the one that easily got the biggest cheer of the keynote. There's a lot more on WWDC, and for that, check out The Verge. Coming up, I unveil Froingle, the new programming language you can use with your invisible friend. I really need human interaction.